One third pineapple juice and one third rum. <laughs> Mm, better make that one fifth rum. <laughs> Mars, what are you doing? I'm making punch for the surprise party. But why are you doing it now? Weezy's still here. Well, you better get her out of here. The Willis's and Mr. Bentley will be down here in a minute. Yeah, well, I tried to get her to go to the movies, but she wouldn't do it. Why not? Well, she said every time women go to movies by themselves, men are always trying to pick them up. Hmm, yeah. Maybe I ought to go to more movies. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to see the expression on Weezy's face when she sees her sister. That's right, she ain't seen her sister in 30 years, has she? Right, and Weezy's always complaining about me not giving her no surprises. So when she sees Maxine today, she can't say that no more. <laughs> you know, I've been working for you for almost four years, and this is the second biggest surprise I can think of. Oh, yeah, what's the first? That I could put up with you for four years. <laughs> oh, Miss Jefferson! Weezy! What's wrong with Florence? Shh, I don't want her to find out. Find out what? Look, uh, 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 today is Florence's anniversary. <laughs> anniversary? Florence isn't married. No, Weezy, today is the fourth anniversary of Florence working for us. It is? Yeah, that's why she's acting so funny. She thinks we forgot. We did. Maybe you did, but I didn't. <laughs> you didn't? No. Poor Florence, ain't nobody even get anything. You mean a present? Hey, Weezy, that's a great idea. Why don't you go out and get a present? <laughs> well, what should I get her? Look, shopping for Florence should be easy. Just get something for the woman who has nothing. <laughs> uh, Louise, oh. oh. Hi, Tom, Helen. Look, those look delicious. What are they for? For? Uh, they're, they're for... Uh, but, uh, they're, they're for the party! <laughs> I thought the party was a surprise. <laughs> it is. Florence doesn't know a thing about the surprise party we're having for Florence's anniversary. Florence's anniversary? Yes, she's been working here four years today. Yes, Tom, remember? That's why we're here for Florence's anniversary. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, of course. Oh, how can I be so stupid? Mm, it comes naturally. <laughs> How come I don't know about this surprise party? Well, I didn't tell you because I didn't want Florence to find out. George, I can keep a secret. No, you can't. You always tell everybody how much you love me. <laughs> George, <laughs> Susan, will you hurry up and go get Florence's present? But, but don't take too long. You don't want to miss the party. Oh, that was a clever idea, George. Sending Louise out to buy a present for Florence. A present for me? Yeah. I told Louise it was your anniversary. So act surprised when she comes back with a bottle of perfume or something. Oh, Mr. Jefferson, I didn't think you cared. I don't. <laughs> okay, now let's get set up for the real surprise. Okay. Weezy, hold it! Hold it! <laughs> I left my wallet in the bedroom. Oh, don't worry, Weezy, I wanted to buy a take. But I don't have any money. What? Oh, here, take my checkbook. Uh, but George, I flocks are here. <laughs> oh, Mrs. J, you're home. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, now that I know you're safe, uh, I'm go I I'll <laughs> <laughs> What was that all about? Who knows with Bentley? Now get going, we come on. <laughs> George, I'm so excited. <laughs> yes, George. I think this surprise was a wonderful idea. Well, you know, when George Jefferson does something, he does it big. I hope you remember that the next time you write my paycheck. <laughs> Man, I hope that ain't Wheezy again. Maybe it's Maxine. Who is it? It's Harry Hay Entley Bay. <laughs> oh, that was those kind. <laughs> Will you cut the pig Latin? Oh, certainly. Uh, I have some uh, Gamay Rosé. Bentley, I told you to cut the pig Latin. Oh, no, I did, Mr. J. That's the name of the wine. It's French. I brought it so that Mrs. J's sister could feel at home. New York is our home. She only lives in Paris. Ooh, I'd love to go to Paris. I hear they call that the city of romance. Oh, yeah? Well, you better not go. You might give the city a bad name. 